Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A similar question, the length, breadth and the height of the rooms are given and it is all in meter, all in meter and you find the cost of white washing the walls of the room and the ceiling. So we have to white wash these walls, four walls plus one ceiling. So here also we are looking for five sides. It is given. So first you need to find the surface area. So surface area of room is what? Surface area of all the four walls. So first we have to give the conventions, right? So if this is length, this is breadth, and this is the height. So surface area of the room is nothing but surface area of wall plus surface area of ceiling I will not say surface area of room, surface area of room to be painted because when you talk about the room, the flooring also is part of the room so surface area of the room to be painted is nothing but surface area of wall plus ceiling because only the wall and the ceiling has to be painted so there are four walls two walls has dimension base into height so 2 into b into h plus Two walls has dimension length into height, 2 into L into H. That is the surface area of the wall. What about ceiling? Ceiling is L into B. L into B. So this is the surface area of the room to be painted. Let's put the values here. And first put the values here. Length is 5, breadth is 4, and height is 3. So let's put the value here 2B into H. 2 into 4 into 3 2 L into H 2 into 5 into 3 plus length into breadth that is 5 into 4 solve this 4 into 3 12 into 2 24 5 into 2 10 plus 30 5 into 4 20 you solve this you get 74 meter square that is the area of the room to be painted now we have to find what the cost right so it is told that one meter square paint cost is what rupees 7.5 right so 74 meter square I mean small paint cost is how much 74 into 7.5 rupees. You saw this, you get 555 rupees. 55 is required to paint this room. Okay, not very difficult. You have to understand that five sides of the room has to be painted. You should come up with this formula. So if you can easily come up with this formula, you just have to put the values and get the answer. Again, there is a question on the room. The floor of a rectangular hall has a perimeter of 250 meter. If the cost of painting four walls at the rate of 10 rupees per meter square is 15,000, we have to find the height of the hall. So let's put the value. This is length, this is breadth, and this is height. Okay. So the first question says that the perimeter of the rectangular hall is 250 meters. So what is the perimeter of the hall? This hall perimeter. So it will be what? 2 into length plus breadth. Right? Perimeter of and that is given 250 meters. First check all the units are in meter. Okay, pretty good. So length, please note the the as per the convention, this is length, this is breadth, this is height. Right? Actually, this is length, this is breadth, this is height, but all same so I have written here, no, no space to write there. Length, breadth, and height. So the perimeter of the hall will be 2 into length plus breadth, and that is given 250 meter. Or with that I can say that length plus breadth is 125 meter that is given to us. Okay, 
what we have to find we have to find the uh, height now it says the cost of painting four walls first we have to find what surface area of four walls so what will be the surface area of four walls two walls will be what b into h so 2 into b into h one is this side one is other side similarly surface area of two other walls will be l into h so 2 into l into h why because there are two right four sides so bh is one again bh is one lh is one again lh is one so there are four sides four walls sorry four walls so this is the surface area of the four walls and that is nothing but 2 into h common l plus b okay now what is given if you see the other way around things are given so this value is not given it is given the cost cost of painting the whole wall at rupees 10 per square meter is given so first you have to find the surface area again right using this value so surface area of wall is what or four walls is what total cost by cost per meter square so total cost is what 1500 15000 actually and this is rupees 10 per meter square rupees rupees cancel 10 Cancel what you get is fifteen hundred meter square. That is the surface area of four walls. So if you see equation one and equation two talk about the same thing, surface area of the four walls. So we can equate this. So I can say that two into h plus l into l plus b is nothing but fifteen hundred meter square. So l plus b is nothing but one twenty five meter. We know. Nothing but one five double zero meter square. So h will come out to be what one five double zero meter square by two into one twenty five meter. So this meter and this meter square one gets cancelled. So what you are left with is six meter. Thus the height is six meter. Pretty easy. So here, what was given was, it was given that the cost of painting four walls at a particular rate was given. So with that, we can easily find the surface area of four walls. Okay. Then, what was given was the perimeter of the floor was given. So with that also, we could find the surface area in terms of uh, the, the perimeter and the value. and we just then equated these two equations to get the value of the height okay let's check one more questions on cubes and cuboids the question says that the paint in a certain container is sufficient to paint an equal area of 9.375 m square please pay attention to the units how many bricks of the dimension 22.5 cm 10 cm 7.5 cm can be painted okay so if you see there are two ways of handling it so one is first let's make a unit common so it's all in cm so let me convert this into cm as well okay so we know that we know that if we write here Hundred centimeter is equal to one meter, right? So hundred centimeter square will be equal to one meter square. So one meter square will be equal to what? Nothing but ten thousand centimeter square. So this will become nine point three seven five into ten thousand centimeter square. So I have changed this to centimeter square unit now. Okay, this is all in centimeter square now. First part is done. now it says that this paint is sufficient to paint this surface area this much surface area in this square and the brick is given which has the dimensions of 
of uh, 20, 22.5, 10 and 7.5. So you can take any way. So we have to find the number of bricks that can be painted. To do that, first we have to find the surface area of the brick or the six sides. Right, surface area of bricks. So we have to find all for all six sides. Because the brick has to be painted all six sides. They are not told that the top has to be left or the base has to be ignored. All the six sides of the brick has to be painted. Correct? So that will become what? That is our standard formula 2 into L into B, 2 into L into H, 2 into B into H. Put the values L into B. So 22.5 into 10. L into H. 22.5 into 7.5 B into H 10 into 7.5 So all this, this becomes uh, 225 or I'll just write a common answer for you you can solve it on your own this is 937.5 centimeter square that is the area of one brick so this is the area of surface area of one brick and the paint we have is sufficient to paint this much area both in same unit so we can find the number of bricks easily so number of bricks is nothing but total area or paint capacity by surface area s area of one brick number of bricks can be painted it's so number of bricks that can be painted is nothing but total area paint capacity of the brick by surface area of one brick so that is nothing but total area capacity was 9.375 into 10,000 centimeter square and this is 937.5 centimeter square so you solve this you get 100 bricks as an answer so 100 bricks can be painted with this paint this paint has the capacity or capacity of painting 9.75 into 10,000 centimeter square area and the area of one brick came out to be 9.375 sorry 9, 937.5 centimeter square so using the formula that the number of bricks that can be painted is nothing but the total area of the or total paint capacity area I can say total paint capacity area divided by surface area of one brick this is one brick okay thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.